We're gonna try a different angle today. We're gonna see if we like this. I'm gonna, I'm developing a, uh, a background, if you will. I'm off to a very slow start, but I need something in the background. I need to like make a space. And it's really hard in here specifically because I hate this room because there's an echo that, hold on, I have to go turn off freaking Morty. But yeah, I just like, I have to fight myself tooth and nail to come in this room to actually film because the echo is so bad. I can't feel like I'm truly myself because I'm not like yelling. So today we will be reviewing Papa's I'm going to slap you. Today, we are going to be reviewing a couple of products from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Ah, <sighs> Jaclyn Hill. I'm just gonna give you some context on the impact that Jaclyn has had on my life. I should grab a drink. Let's make this a little more casual. I think I'll be more myself. So, growing up, I've always had a passion for makeup. From the time that I was like 15 until college age, I fell in love with it. I'm self-taught, but I took workshops whenever I had the chance and constantly was trying to learn. I like bought three different versions of the Mac manual that they give to their makeup artists and like learned it. I fully immersed myself in the love of the process of doing makeup and doing makeup on other people. And I freelanced for a little bit and I did a couple music videos and a couple photo shoots and just little stuff here and there. So I kind of like stopped teaching myself halfway through college just because college and acting and all of this stuff came up and took priority that I kind of fell off learning about it. And I kind of had the same routine for a couple of years and I will never forget. It wasn't until my first year of law school, I was at orientation, which is stressful enough. I, new environments with people I've never met before, I can get serious anxiety and I can feel like, I revert back to like my junior high self of like being bullied. I just, it makes me so uncomfortable, but I kind of overcompensate with my personality to kind of just like cope with being uncomfortable, if that makes sense. I don't know, so I'm a pretty strong personality. I think it shows anytime anybody meets me. But the first day of orientation, one of who ended up being my best friends told me that there was a girl going around calling me cake face. Like, my makeup was so cakey. It, on, it fucking broke me, I'll just say that much. It was so hurtful, especially when like, mind you, it was like August. I'll show you the picture. I don't actually think my face was that cakey, but whatever. It made me go home and it made me just to start looking up anything makeup related so I could learn anything and everything about my face so that I could accommodate it and not have cake face. And that is when I discovered YouTube and that is when I discovered Jaclyn Hill. And I followed her from the beginning and I just remember seeing, you know, a friendly face. She made you not feel alone. And I felt like I learned so much from her and it made me fall in love with the process of makeup again. And I probably wouldn't have this YouTube channel if it weren't for her. I know I wouldn't. I love that girl. So today, <laughs> Sorry for the long intro, God, I can't help it. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the lip liner and the liquid lip. Now, y'all sold out a lot of her lip liners and a lot of the liquid lips super fast. And like, I'm not on any PR list, so I bought the colors that I could. And then I also will be quickly reviewing the under eye cream and the powder. It's the setting powder, under eye setting powder. So I guess we'll just start. So as you can tell, I have obviously done my makeup. I did it haphazardly and very fast today. I am wearing both products on my face, her under eye cream and her. Her, we are going to talk about in a second. The under eye cream, I'm actually very surprised by. I have been using eye creams mainly just because my skin under my eyes have been getting dry and so I constantly have to moisturize. This is going to replace my Tatcha eye cream. And I didn't think I'd say that. It's, um, <sighs> what's up bro? It's moisturizing and hydrating, but it doesn't leave like a dewy residue. Like it soaks into your skin, if that makes sense. Cause some of my eye creams will almost not seep into my skin. They'll just kind of be a surface layer and then it doesn't fully blend well or last long. This doesn't do any of those. I'm actually a huge fan of this. Let me know if you want a video on how I use this of me applying it. 
this is a product I would get and it's gonna be a staple in my collection for sure. We're gonna talk about this for a second because I am so surprised by this. I will just say, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder has been my ride or die forever and I didn't think anything was gonna replace it. I've tried banana powders, but I feel like banana's a little bit too yellow for my skin tone under my eyes. So this is the Bake and Brighten Under Eye Powder. This is like, this is gonna replace my Laura Mercier powder for sure, it already has. If you want a budge proof powder that will set in anything that you have on your face, this is it. What I love about this powder specifically is that there's five different shades to match whatever color you're trying to counteract and there's explanations for each color on the site that you can go and pick, which most translucent setting powders are like one shade. That alone <laughs> is so valuable because I feel like even with foundations, it's so hard to navigate what shade you are based on what you're trying to counteract and this kind of makes it very easy for you to understand. So brightening lilac helps neutralize dark circles for yellow undertones and fair skin tones. The brightening pink one, which is the one I got, helps neutralize dark circles for cool undertones and light skin tones. And my under my eyes is a little more cool, and so banana powders I found to be the wrong color for me. It sets. It'll set on bare skin. I love this stuff. I will say though, the Laura Mercier, which is this one, this is the glow one, but the Laura Mercier one is $39, and this is one ounce. This is 0.2 ounces, so it's a fifth of the Laura Mercier, and it's $29. Do with that information what you will. But the quality of this powder is superb, so I'm gonna be buying it. It's, it's so good. I think I want this in every color, too. We're moving on. This stuff is so good. Let me know if you would also like a video of me putting this on. Okay, now to my favorite part. So I'll start with the lip liner. The two shades I got are bourbon and cupcake. There were very limited colors available, so these are the ones I got. And um, do we do swatches anymore? I'm just gonna swatch this and, I mean, you let me know if that was helpful or not. It's so creamy. It's so creamy. I Like, again, I think I'm even more excited just because I just was hoping it would be what I wanted it to be, and it's awesome. And these colors are, I keep them in my bag now. And then this one is bourbon. It's a more brown color, and this one's more, this one's beautiful. And I love these because each lip liner you can, you can match with multiple shades and do completely different looks with them. Like for the most part, I've been using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils, which are great too, but these are my new faves. My new faves. So let's um, let's apply one of them. Actually, we're just gonna do the two liquid lips that I got. We're gonna try some of these on. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite lip combos right now, which is Bourbon and Get Real. It's creamy, it goes on well, it blends well with the other liquid lips. I'll show you the swatches of Outspoken. This is Outspoken, I'm kind of going over the, the bake, but whatever. It is so creamy, oh my gosh, like, so good, like butter. And they smell delicious, they don't smell like, you know how some liquid liners just like stank? Yeah, these don't. Which one do we want to use? We'll use, we're gonna use Get Real. And then I will go over again with the bourbon. I don't have my normal mirror in front of me. I hope that looks okay. Mm. Should look fine. Looks pretty good, right? They're starting to dry a little bit. I didn't even apply that much. 
It's a lot of pigment. I'm gonna make this short because I feel like after I gave the explanation that I did, you might feel like I'm a little bit biased and that's okay. But I'm here to tell you, the lip liners and liquid lips are legit. You know how some liquid lips, when they're going on their last hour of, of worth, like you're gonna have to like take it off and reapply because it, it gets dry and crusty. This one doesn't. It has a nice kind of natural fade away, but it doesn't wear off right away, if that makes sense. And I think that's it. So I will be buying the other products and letting you know how they are. I hope that review is better. This is the first product review I've done in a long time. And I forgot how hard it was. I forgot. Mamas, get down. Enough. It's 9.50, bro. Please let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please keep me on YouTube and away from TikTok. I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you on the flip side.